plastered. Is that <laughs> true? That he was such uh, yeah. a one-hit wonder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. Who framed, who, who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. That was a banger. Okay, slight tangent. Sure. So the villain, villain and Roger Rabbit, right? Yeah. A spoiler warning, uh, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Not, yeah. not needed. Not you haven't needed. seen the 20 year old movie. <laughs> right, right. The Titanic <laughs> sinks. Uh, Abe Lincoln gets shot. Uh, oh, Roger <laughs> Rabbit. Yeah, whoops. Uh, Roger Rabbit, uh, the main the main villain, turns out to be a toon himself. But it always <laughs> bugged me. What specific tune is he? Because almost every other one is identifiable, right? From the days of like the the silver screen and the and the yeah. funnies on the Nickelodeon, even. Uh, but that guy just is a tune, which somehow not being identified made him even scarier. And I so scary. Way too. Dude, much when he time. melts, when he fucking melts that I shoe, know. that was horrifying. <laughs> That was literally horrifying we watching don't that make as a kid. Those movies for kids anymore. No. No. You know what I mean? Can't. I don't think it was ever a kid's movie, though. Like, I don't think it was ever supposed <laughs> to be a kid's I movie. I just have bad parents. No, that's a good note. Yeah, they're yeah. like, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it's got cartoons in it, so it's a kid's movie. And I'm like, well, yeah. and like, well. Yeah, there's a reason why Jessica Rabbit was your dad's favorite cartoon. Yeah, I would be like, oh, yeah. Right. People are like, it's got cartoons in it. It's, it's, a, it's a kid's movie. I'm like, yeah, I, a Japanese animation, there's a bunch of shit in there that isn't for kids, and that's oh, right. cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. nah, dude. Yeah, they have a lot of cartoons that you should not. Watch kids. Uh, uh, yeah, that's uh, with that like with that tangent aside. So we get to this because we're talking about these uh, the idea that we might not be able to understand uh, another life form right from beyond this planet or beyond the solar system or what have you. Uh, but still, we have to realize we might not be able to really understand something some ancient civilization that came and went they might you know fire might have remained a novelty to them. Right. I, I i doubt that i doubt that but it would be funny if those things ex- if that some ancient civilization existed if they like came back and they said whoa you guys are eating the other animals that's <laughs> fucking crazy you're wild uh, or what's what what's an even a, a bigger oh they come in and they might be amazed by stuff. You know, there's no proof that every civilization discovers the same things, right? Or practices mm-hmm. the same technology. So they might travel here and see uh, microplastics again. And then and then they might panic, right? Like, <laughs> why did you guys do this? You fucked up. Yeah. You it's fucked up. Did you not realize like, what was going to happen? Did you not think about the long game? <laughs> like, yes. We left alchemy instructions <laughs> everywhere. What about all that yeah. shit? We shot into space. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's a yeah. yeah that's an interesting point. Is that yeah if 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 it were that would be the most telling sign for me, somebody who's the the you know the uh, the designated skeptic on this as designated mm. skeptic on this podcast. Mm. Um, what I would look for, especially, is like even though you have these things that yeah uh, geologically you know biologically things could break down things could be uh, you know subsumed into the earth and taken and ground down into nothing what you would be looking for is for things like in in or uh, physics physics wouldn't really lie because it would be like okay if if these things were smart enough to put something into space you'd be like there are only certain paths that you would want to put things in in order for them to survive for a long term, like a satellite or something, like if you want like the Black Knight satellite. satellite, Black Knight satellite, that's what's up there. That's, but, the, but that's even from a, the dinosaurs. But when I think about it now, I'm like, yeah, even a satellite. And now I think about it, is like now even a satellites, they're in degrading orbits. They're like they're still like if they're not constantly maintained and they calculate for corrections, mm. they're they're still Unless gonna put them they're way still gonna come down out. eventually, yeah. right? And yeah. I I think one of the uh, I think they in the Solarian it's, it's in the paper that the, the two guys published. Um, they were talking about one of the you know the easiest way and the biggest way we could probably figure out is if stuff you know if they had made it to the moon or another. Yeah, body. yeah, something with a with a less hungry ecosystem, to right. say the least. Right, much less erosion. Yeah, I, I think about that too, especially when you see um, the renewed push for a lunar foothold. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, the Artemis. Yeah, <laughs> all it takes, man, is all it takes is one 
big country saying, well, we're going to do it. Uh, for like uh, uh, several other countries to go, ah, but also we're we're in the race now, you know. Um, and if there is if there is something that could be discovered, that it would fundamentally, I mean, it'd be the biggest thing. It would be the biggest thing since learning that humans are a thing, right? You would say, oh crap, the sequel, or is it a prequel? Dum dum dum. Oh. <laughs> and uh, my question for you guys is, if that, if something like that happened, if there was a discovery like that, do you think the people who discovered it would go public? Would it be like a big secret? Would no? No, they don't want don't, you to know about it. I don't it, think there's fam. a way. I don't think there's a, a chance in hell they'd go public with it because there's people that I think into in our society right now with all the we're, we're so divided in interest that if whoever gets there first, if they get something and there's any kind of information to gather from there from an ancient civilization that was there, they're going to want to take that. And then try to basically, they're like, what is there to know that we didn't know already that we could possibly give us a leg up on our rivals, right? Uh, Gotta utilize what, it. What could, could this give us a leg up on the Russians, right? Can we figure out if we, if there's something back on earth, is this going to help us against China? Like, I yeah. just think there's this, there's this like real earth effort of like not co cohesive it's a human like, trait Holy shit we're not we're not here first everyone i think it would i don't think we would know right away i think it would it would come way later we'd hear the buzz aldrin's right in 50 years whoever's the next guy up there would be like we saw some shit and everyone would be like nah you didn't you crazy bastard you crazy you bastard, bastard. You. and then he'd go on the circuits and we'd be like this guy's wild and then it would come out like a hundred years. Ago. Oh no! That guy was telling the truth the whole time. <laughs> but we couldn't. We couldn't say it because couldn't of say national it security. Yeah. Right? Classified. Uh, no, you know, sadly, you make a really a really solid point there, especially with something that could be used for any sort of leverage, because it's still very geopolitics, still very much a, a zero sum game to the people at the top. Oh, and also, you know what? Hang on, let me check. I have to check this every time we talk about this. I know we're I know we're live, folks. Just bear with me. Drum roll. Henry Kissinger still alive? Huh. Yeah, still alive? Still alive? Every every still time, kicking. perhaps one of the mo well, some people would say probably one of the most vilest humans ever. <laughs> So Definitely a Sith Lord. <laughs> yeah. If there was one, yes, Sith it'd Lord. be him. <laughs> yeah, it'd be him. <laughs> so, like, the, the, the Kissingers of the world, to your point, would a uh, 100% they would come out and they would say, no, we're keeping this moon stuff secret. No, we right? cannot tell them about There it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this, this, is, uh, this makes sense because there would be conceivably – there'd be a very easy way to control the flow of that information and prevent it from leaking, right? If, you're, if your chain of custody is there, you know, it's, it's the fucking moon. It's not like somebody's going to stroll by on their way somewhere else, right? You know, like, oh, I was walking to the, the, the moon store, and then I learned that there, were, uh, there was another civilization that existed. So you, you can clamp down on it. I'm just wondering... I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it seems like the it doesn't seem like the best move to to restrict that information. But then, of course, like the Pope would come out. How would organized religion react to it? Mm, yep. I mean, if it's a private sector exploring <laughs> it, you know, maybe our best odds are someone like a, a billionaire like an Elon Musk uh, just finding this and then instantly going to Twitter for attention <laughs> and saying like, hey. There's a whole other civilization. Holy shit. We're calling them Teslaites or something, you know, something like that. And they are now my slaves. I, <laughs> I would think that you would have to try very hard to keep a scientist to keep their mouth shut about something. A team of scientists, because not only would this be, because again, yeah, they like can't talk be, if they're dead, Dan. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> when, right? but dead people, but dead people are missed. They are, you know, it, you could possibly, you Where's know, try. Go? You could try. Why you could keep a secret off, if one are dead. You could pass off. You could try to pass off like, oh, there was some kind of disaster. Like, especially if it were some like underground. Be like, oh, there was a cave in. All this entire team of scientists 
died. Whatever. Um, or you it. could pull. What the, can you do? Well, you could pull the what is it? Two thousand one Space Odyssey when they find the first monolith on the moon, and then everybody mm. pretty much dies, and they're like, oh, you know, they covered it up until they find the Ooh. second one or whatever. Mm. Um, but but it. it Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.